Bring the effervescent joy of blowing bubbles into your practice then invite the spirited energy of your inner wild child into any circle. Easy, inexpensive, and available almost anywhere. You can even make them yourself. Read on for some creative ideas to get you started. As a magic wand, use the wand of your bubbles as a stand-in for your magic wand. If you find a plastic wand an ugly and abhorrent ritual tool, I'm with you. I'm not a fan of them, myself. So decorate it. I spray painted this one. Then glued on some old costume jewelry to make it a little more visually appealing. Direct your energy by dragging it through the air. It creates a darling, fairy godmother vibe that elevates the energy into a realm of lightness and brightness. Charge it with crystals and gems. Want to charge your bubbles for a specific spell or ritual? Choose an appropriate gemstone or two and drop it in the bottle for a few days before to tune the solution for your specific needs. Pro tip. Make sure your gemstone is water stable. Some stones have water soluble elements in them that dissolve when soaked. Also, don't forget to remove it before you throw it away. I know. Duh. Right? But it's easy to forget. Add appropriate essential oils. In the same spirit, if you want to customize your bubble solution to your ritual needs, choose a ritual appropriate essential oil. Try lavender oil for dream spells, rose for love spells, or peppermint for luck and clarity. Then, add a few drops into your bubble solution. Bonus, it makes the ritual space smell awesome. Bless a baby, does your coven have a new little witchlet? Use bubbles in the baby blessing. So much fun, give everyone some bubbles for circle and let them bless the baby by gently blowing bubbles in the air above the sleeping little angel. Be sure to avoid baby's eyes. Call on the element of air. Bubbles make a visual spectacle of the ordinarily invisible element of air. When calling the quarters, invite this stratospheric energy into your circle by walking the perimeter and marking your path by blowing bubbles behind you. Use them in fairy magic. If you like to work with the woodland sprites, try calling them by finding a secluded space in the forest. The further from civilization, the better. Blow some bubbles. Then, sit quietly on a tree stump or large stone and listen to the sounds around you for a message from the forest.